Alrighty, righty. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? It's John Brewer here with the Socially Distant Supper Club. This is a take two. Uh, we had a little issue, but uh, we got our Wi-Fi going now. Hopefully, it'll work all it's the way through. Now. I'm tapped into their Wi-Fi now. now. I was trying to run it just off of my yeah, regular one. Didn't work out. Them. But anyway, so I'm in a so classic, we, classic we place. We're, we're down in Pompano Beach. So uh, it's absolutely gorgeous out today. It's the day before Thanksgiving, and we are at Papa's Raw Bar. Okay. This place is an institution. If you've never been out here before, you don't know what you're First missing. They've great. actually consolidated a energy. lot of the restaurants. There's two. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to get the story from Troy. He's here waiting for us. Here's all your outdoor seating available for right, right now. Coming. They've got a tent set up. Must be able to fit at least 30, 40 people out here. Plenty of spacing, as you can see, between all the tables here. Outdoor seating. They've got fans for your comfort. Uh, it's just a really, really cool vibe, man. If you can't get down to the Keys, this is the hi, next best thing. Papa's They've got seating outside. They've got all kinds of specials that, going on. It's, it's a quiet. great family operation here. You've they got their story out front. And we've got Troy. There he is. Yeah, man, look at a welcome sign. Ah, uh, this Woo! is gorgeous. Look at that. Well, I tell you, man, it, it, it's really been about the, the, the people and them embracing all of our local restaurants and all of our local businesses. And I know that's a big thing you've got going on. Do you want to expend, uh, explain maybe a little bit about Eat, Drink, and Be Local? Yep. That's our family trademark and slogan, Eat, Drink, and Be Local. We believe that you and I should, or we, should be building relationships in our community. It's all about how can we pull resources and help each other learn and grow. Awesome. Build stronger systems as we work together. The EDBL lifestyle, the EDBL is in our, in our blood. And uh, we appreciate your local love and support. John, we love what you're doing. We appreciate you coming here. And to all our locals out there, keep supporting local businesses, especially the mom and pops. We love your support. Here with my lovely wife, Cassie, the smooth hey. operator. Hey, Cassie, how are you? Good, how are you? All right, she keeps all right. us in check. Welcome, this is Papa's Raw Bar. Started with the market in 1976. Two awesome restaurants. Um, COVID shut us down. We went to Togo's, 110 employees down to 14. We lost some employees that have been with us for 35 years. Sad situation, but we've been taught to focus on our systems, always learning to adapt and grow, and um, we're growing stronger. We're still struggling, but that's not our focus. We're present where our feet are at, trying really hard to grow and sustain and become stronger through all of this. Um, we do have one restaurant now, Papa's Raw Bar, has old school seafood world classics, so we took both menus, combined them in one restaurant. So we're the market, the new venue we're about to check out now, the barrel room, and Papa's Raw Bar is a restaurant. We have the outdoor tent, Thank you, Mr. Mayor Glenn Trost, for allowing us to have this tent and our city officials. We really appreciate you. It's given our customers a safe place to dine, to eat, drink, and be local. Let's come check out the barrel room. Sounds this is good. a private venue. It's open Fridays and Saturdays only, an exclusive experience where you got to call the concierge. Papa's on. I'm the only one who takes the reservations. We only do one seating. At 9 o'clock, it turns to hip-hop and dancing, and this is the place to be. And the good news is, on Sunday through Thursday, it's a different vibe. You can then order the stuff off the raw bar menu. And now you can have a safe place to eat where 10 people gets you the room to yourself. So 10 to 18 people, you can have a nice safe environment with the group you feel comfortable with. So we're really trying to adapt. We want to create a safe place for you to eat. And we appreciate you. And so how would they, would they make a reservation? How does that that's work? A res we only do reservations for part of your 10 or more. If you try and call, um, they'll take your contact information and me or one of the leaders will call you back because we want to make sure that you're accommodated properly. Fantastic. Just a great, great vibe here. It's the bail room on Friday and Saturday, exclusive menu, and you need a password to get in. All right, let's go. What's up, guys? Come yeah, on. You need a password. Eat local supper club. Ah, it worked. Right. Look right. at this. <laughs> let's see what we got. What's up, guys? What's up? This is Matt. This is the general manager here. How are we doing, guys? Thank you for letting us in. And actually, you were the one that kind of told Troy about us. We really appreciate that, man. Awesome. It's uh, great stuff. And now that my mom's feeling a little healthier, we're able to get a little, little further south. And uh, definitely Beautiful. want to see what we can do for you guys. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know that you had done this in the room. So please, show me around. Yeah, there's uh, four tables in here. We only do one seating. Right. You got the Lucaya Lounge. I'm so pretty. Something my dad used to tell himself every day before he met my mom. The owner's, <laughs> the owner's table and the family table. Again, oh, wow. one seating. You got to fill up the table. Friday and Saturday, special menus. You can find them at papasrawbar.com. Click on the barrel room. What happens in the barrel room? Stays in the, the barrel room. room. Nine o'clock turns to hip hop and dancing. The vibe scenes. 
change, and we encourage you to share that password with friends and family, or you can window shop. These windows you can see out, but you can't see in. Look at the wall of fame up there. Sky's the limits. We got aged tequila, bourbon, whiskey, and we have a full bar. The mixologist comes in, mother shuckers are here, and the chefs provide an experience that's totally elevated on Friday and Saturday nights. Then, like I said, on Sunday through Thursday, you can take this whole room over with 10 people. We also have a VIP room in here. Three more tables or 15 people gets you the entire room. Oh, no yeah. minimum to spend. Again, this is something fun. It's a new venue. Maybe you'll find something like this in Miami or up north. There's nothing to like this around. And uh, we're really trying hard to evolve during this whole time. This was something that came out of it. Having a private venue, we do a lot of catering, yachts, houses. Uh, now you can come here and have this private venue. We don't have to shut down the Bimini room and the raw bar. And uh, again, we have a, a safe venue to eat. COVID taught us that we uh, couldn't have the two restaurants and all the employees anymore. Okay. So we had to change things up, get creative, continue to seek opportunity. Like our mentor, Eddie Rodriguez says, always learning, always growing, and you're only as strong as your systems. So that's, that's what we're it. doing we, today. We're, we're having a great conversation about that uh, off air beforehand, and, and you and I both see the same thing. It's the difference between goals and systems. Yep. And you know, it's one thing to have goals and say, hey, I wanna be a millionaire. It's another thing to have a system that says, hey, I'm gonna do this restaurant, I'm gonna make it the best thing possible, I'm gonna get a good team in place, I'm That's gonna have right. a training thing, I'm gonna be able to train people right, I'm gonna execute, execute the food, yeah. food properly, and then from there, dig on down and create all those systems within systems. It's like someone says, you'll never, you, you, you won't rise to the level of your goals, but you'll always sink to the level of your system. So that's right. That's awesome stuff. We yeah, both the systems, the baby steps, Absolutely. and um, the organic growth and uh, staying where your feet are at is an amazing thing. So tell us a little bit about the history of this place. So your dad opened this up? My dad opened the market, which we're about to go into in 1976 with my grandma. I remember when I was- uh, Why don't so we go in there and we'll pick up the yeah. story in there. Yeah. Because this is kind of the new. This yep. is kind of this where, is the new, where you guys are going. This is the newest, so and we're going back looks, in time to the heart and the soul of our operation, the marketplace that we've expanded on. You know, when COVID shut us down, everything went back to the market. You're wearing masks. We went from 110 employees down to 14. Wearing a mask, keeping people outside, then slowly getting to the point where people could come in one at a time. COVID's been a blessing for us, and I know it's awkward to say that because we're all struggling and challenged, right. but it's kept us on our feet. It's helped us to grow stronger systems, to be cleaner, to be safer to offer better service, to be more accommodating, to understand and adapt to everybody's story. This isn't about us, it's about you. Right. How can we make you feel comfortable no matter what you think is right or wrong? It's, it's all about the guest experience and offering an elevated experience. And, and I just wanted to mention, even though this place looks kind of, I don't want to say clubby, but it looks very kind of, you know, nightlife-y. Um, you said you did a party for a 75 year old man recently who wasn't Yeah, he just came in, he didn't, he, he didn't want to wait to sit outside because they wanted to wait to sit outside because they didn't feel comfortable coming inside. The son came into the market to check it out. I did a barrel room tour with him. He's like, oh my God, my father would die to have some privacy and eat. he's at high risk. So we brought him in and that's what it's built. Um, when you call for a reservation, one of the leaders will get back to you, like I mentioned, or you'll end up talking to me. And that's why we do it that way. We want to make sure we can accommodate you properly. But um, if you're worried about being safe, there's a way we can cater to you here at Papa's. Awesome stuff. So uh, yeah, so much to see here. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, let's come and, in. This uh, is- uh, There's just details this everywhere. This is normally where we sneak the celebrities in. This is our other kitchen. What's up, Chef Chad Daddy? He's hey, our chef. COO and executive What's chef. What's going on? How are you doing today? Good, so man. It, how are you? He's stirring the pot. He's stirring the pot. Yeah, sounds like right. me. Pop his shouter. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like my two boys. So we still use both kitchens to accommodate that crazy menu we have next door that you guys helped us get to the next level. Most of our dishes are inspired by locals and named after locals. That's awesome stuff. Welcome to Papa's Fresh Market. So this was, this is the heartbeat of it all. This is where it all started. I, I hear before I was born, there was folding tables in here, with a couple chairs, and then they ended up knocking down the wall, a couple more tables knocking down the other wall. So it was sad when we had to close down. It broke my dad's heart. We lost a lot of our valued teammates, but um, we were able to reinvent ourselves and reopen. And the story's still alive. My dad doesn't come in every day. He's almost 80 um, and he works in a different way. He's able to buy all our fish from home. He's on the phone at five o'clock every morning, making sure we have fresh fish because of all our outlets, the market, the online shipping that my wife does through Best Stone Crabs. We ship our stone crabs, conch and seafood nationwide, fresh from our boats to your table. And my brother's picking up fresh fish in Miami. So my family's still keeping busy. My dad's still busy. He's watching the cameras from home. And he comes in every day before it gets crazy at 11.30 and he sits with our teammates and shares his stories and knowledge so we can elevate the experience here. And it really uh, is, there's so much story, so much stuff behind it. And you were saying, um, um, 
what was it about about your about your uh, the, the relationships? So that's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, my dad always so said dad that our knows business, all the fish yeah. mongers. He knows all the all the Everybody's seafood guys. Everybody's been doing so, this for 50 years. And that's years. a big part of seafood, especially yep. locally here. Who are you getting it from? When other people can't get it, uh, who and that's where my brother from? comes in. He's down in Miami. He lives in Miami. He dated, started dating somebody. Now they're engaged to beautiful Miss Maholi, and um, they're buying day boat fish from some of these big suppliers that are getting the fish and delivering it to other restaurants. We're cutting them off and buying at the same time they are because my dad has built these relationships over the years. We have our own conch boats. We have our own stone crab boats. We bring in day boat fresh fish. We want, awesome. we want to cut the fish. You want to see the bloodline. We want to see the eye colors. We want to touch the fish. We don't buy filet fish here. We've also partnered up here with some locals, the Flora family. Love you guys. Funky Buddha. Love you guys. Oh, Beaver yeah. Tree's out of state, but you got a great product. We're all about the quality products and the quality service here. But now we have a lot more to offer at the market. We have our own EDBL wine, buy five pounds of stone crabs, get a bottle free or a hundred dollar gift card. Each nice. bottle's got a unique story about my dad on there. How they called him Papa, the traveling man. How did, well, how did they call him Papa? Where'd that come from? Well, we all know Ernest. My mom's anyway. a gangster Sicilian from Brooklyn and she was getting away from a bad marriage and my brother was born premature. He was dying in the hospital. Boss sent her away. Short story is she ends up in the Bahamas, finds my dad and swears he'd never, she'd never spend more than a day with somebody like that. So they <laughs> chaperoned a date with my mom's sister and my dad's best friend. A year later, my mom moved down to the Bahamas, brought this little baby, my older brother. And um, my dad had no idea, he says. He walks into the local bar, the Victorian, which is one of the tables in there. And everybody said, look, Huey's a papa. Since then, he's been called Papa Huey. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So this is some of the stuff you guys are putting out. Oh my yeah, goodness. man, fresh stone crabs. These are super colossal claws. I'll goodness. tell you a fun fact about the stone crab. Right, I gotta, get, I gotta give people a, a you're gonna a have one of a those. perspective here because uh, that, that's yeah. I hope you're not know. allergic to shellfish because oh we got one coming goodness. your way. That is, those are huge. You got Alaskan king crab. You've got Maine lobsters, uh, beautiful shrimp, homemade seafood vinaigrette, conch salad, wahoo salad, shrimp salad, lobster salad, calamari salad, seaweed salad, conch scallops, medium shrimp, jumbo shrimp, yellowtail snapper, grouper, wahoo, hogfish is the favorite. Hogfish, we got a yeah. yellowtail snapper, the filet, tuna, swordfish, mahi, salmon. I'd like to introduce you to Miss Sweepy. How long have you been here, Miss Sweepy? 24 years. 24 years. 24 years. That's right. All right. And Marcel, how long have you been here? 32 years. What are you cleaning back there? Oh my goodness, that that's beautiful. That's a fresh mahi, guys. That's there it. it is. Wow. That's a bull, right? Yep. That's, That's a nice right. size. Mr. Michael yeah. just joined our team recently. We're so happy to have him. Nice. Nice to meet you guys. Mr. Christian's bringing yeah, in you the core. You got stuff coming in, going yeah. out. That's an empty core. That's best stone crabs where you call and talk to my lovely wife, Cassie, where we ship everything nationwide. Okay. Got a wonderful catalog with all the local fishermen in there. Miss Summer and Miss Christine. We do full service catering. When it comes to catering, it's all about you again. We want to elevate the experience. You might see our van on the road. There it During is. COVID, when we shut down, we were using this van to go to communities and cater to the communities where we'd stop at the country clubhouse or a public shopping center and everybody come up to the car one at, one at a time. Yeah, you um, said you were doing kind of, we were talking about that, like we were doing the uh, kind of the front loading of the restaurants, getting the orders up front. And you guys are doing the same thing, but you were doing it with community. So you're doing up to like 60 dinners, 50 dinners. We had our customers reach out to us and said, hey, can you deliver? And we're like, no, we're not really set up to do that. It was, it was a whirlwind. And then they started putting together, what if we put uh, 10, you know, 10 orders together? Next thing you know, we're going to community with 30, 40 orders to Dakota community in Del Rey. So we had a Del Rey stop, Dakota, we had a Boynton yeah. stop, we had a Fort Lauderdale stop, a Lauderdale by the sea stop. While we were out there, we were stopping by the hospitals and catering to our free, uh, first responders. Uh, fire stations, police departments, really trying to, no matter what we do, we always try and give back. We throw awesome. a big party, there's gotta be a charity attached. We teamed up with Pelagic and Yoga Joint. We're working on Lululemon. We're coming for you, Lulu. Love you guys. <laughs> but uh, it's all about working together with the community. How can we learn? How can we grow? How can we help each other? I've been in recovery for five years. My mentor, thanks for hooking it up, Matt. Fro Pro is not just a snack bar, it's a lifestyle. It's about being <laughs> of service to others. I love you, Matt. Thank you for saving my life. And thank you for teaching me how to be of service and help other people. And it's those type of tools that I get to bring here to work and help our team. I'm almost like a life coach here. How can we be better people? How can we be service to others? 
and everything will come back to you. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. But it's all about being of service, all about helping the community, all about giving back. I love it. So that's what we're about. Uh, we'll continue back to where he came from, the hostess stand. He came at a kind of a, a calm time. We were busy for lunch. The on counter purpose, was going on crazy. Purpose. When I came in, though, I was a little worried because some people get a little, they don't want to be filmed. They don't know what's going on. So th this was about half full. And that's why we come down here around 3.30 in the afternoon. It's usually the best time. And we just want to showcase the, the, the environment itself. So six top, six top, eight top potentially. Everything's spaced. Everything's spread out. You got high tops here. We can move them apart. You can bring them together. So uh, they got picnic tables out here that are spaced. So if you feel comfortable dining outside, this is definitely one of your options. Yep, and I got to mention the veterans. We uh, teamed up with Cocktails with Heroes and um, Honor Flight. And now we're with the Marines doing a Toy for Tots drive. This was the Kissing Sailor. He was actually comes here. And um, my dad's a veteran. He served in the Army. We got a hot sauce called Tank Commander. This is my brother I was talking about, Chris, and hey, his Chris. wife, Maholi. They're with Seafood Express. They bring in all our fresh fish. And we go through a lot of fresh fish, guys, about 5,000 pounds a week because we're catering, we're shipping, we're at the market, we're at the restaurant. We got other local restaurants come and buy stuff here. Plus, my brother delivers to a lot of local spots. Normally, there's live music here jamming from 6 to 9 every night. Sets here right Bruce, here. Stony Bow from Future Prez, all locals. And I got to tell you, these guys thank us every day, and we thank them. But they didn't have anywhere to go either. That's so you know, true. During this whole time, the musicians, the artists, the older people, the younger kids that are at home that aren't playing sports, these musicians didn't have anything. And we didn't have anything to give them. A lot of them offered to, pay for, to come play for free or for tips. And uh, we know they're our lifeline, too. So we scrounged everything up that we could to pay them. And they've been grateful, but you know, right back at them, we're even more grateful. But some of these local performers, they're they're unbelievable. Awesome. So they appreciate your support. And you know, they're online now, and people are Venmoing them their money while they're playing. And with technology during COVID, it's just helped us really expand yeah. and think outside the box exactly. and get uncomfortable and be okay with it. You know, this is uh, a lot of great stuff going on. And make mistakes, the A, B, the A, yeah. you know, A and B, which one worked better? A worked better, great, okay, we scrap B. Yeah. All right, let's A, B a test again. Oh, B worked, well, we'll go with that, man. It's been a learning experience. Live and learn. And, uh, you know, you remind me a little bit of Crazy Uncle Mike. Uh, ah, with, I just with, teamed up with him, we gotta meet. Get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> he just found me on Facebook, or we found each other, and we were talking about, because I hear so much great stuff about him, and he said the same about us, so we, uh, it's Mike Godwin, right? Yeah, good yeah, yeah, good, good win. Yeah, we good can't, people. We can't wait to uh, meet. But he up. did the same thing, man. Like you know, all of a sudden he lost his, his concert venue, and he was more reliant on that concert audience. And he was like YouTube and Venmo and what can we do and and just kept slugging and did you know like just like you, man. Said how do we make this an opportunity yeah. to to grow? You got or, your head on a swivel when you're looking for opportunity and you're staying problem, staying positive. You know, my life coach Julia taught me it's it's not about the problems. Know your story and it's never a problem. So we don't even use the word problem anymore. It's a challenge. Challenge. And once it's a challenge, we want to work and get through it and fight it and stay in the solution. And That's stay it. where your feet are at. Uh, let's get in here. Yep. This is our outside. We still don't have bartenders. I am so sorry to all the bartenders because they're not really back anywhere and that's a shame. Some it of our, our best people yeah. we lost because they're not behind the bar anymore. We do have a service well, I want to get a that, picture of this door. There's just yeah, so we, many, we there's shock so them many great shock details. Them. Everywhere you look, there's something to look Dollar at. Dollar Oysters, local artists too. Jimmy does everything around here. Eddie Forbes does the tables inside. Um, we, we keep it local. Awesome um, Dollar Oysters every day from open till six. We do fun happy hours. You find everything at Papa's Raw Bar. Miss Katrina, the boss lady. Hey, hey. Our CFO, you? she's got more hats than uh, we got for sale here. <laughs> and she wears all of them better than I do. Uh, Miss Nicole has been with, how long have you been with us, Nicole? Seven years. Seven years, and it was tough for her to make the transition from the old school seafood world into the raw bar and to who we are today, uh -huh. which we're still trying to figure that out. Um, but we're doing it. Um, we did pick really up a liquor are. license. We had two businesses, COVID forced us into one. The cities worked with us. We were able to get that liquor license, which is helping us survive. Um, I'm an alcoholic, so I tell you the truth. Money and it's helping us make money. We're still not in the black yet, but we're getting there. Awesome. And our goal is just to survive and stay strong. This is the raw bar. Not everything is so social distance in here since they changed the rules, but outside we do keep it friendly and safe out there and distance. Inside here, it's a little closer. Well, that's that's what I love. You've got different different offerings. You got something for, for everybody. Yeah, it's levels. not my job to judge you and what exactly. you're comfortable with, but we want to make sure that everybody's comfortable. And it's still space, but yeah. you know, some people. Yeah, we still don't have the full seating that yep. we did. Awesome stuff. You got sports. So we here. didn't put all the bars. You're telling me about all the locals you got on this. Yeah, all the locals. We got HSN, Healthy Steps, Santiso, the PT, Fro Pro, my savior. Eat, drink, and be healthy. Uh, 
Core 954. Miss Erica, we love you. Paige, making shift happen. There's a misspell, but she let me keep it, making shit happen. <laughs> Paige is a trooper, opening up yoga joints every, everywhere, inspiring yogis. Love it. Love it. And um, we got Cycle Ward, Miss Lisa Maitland, and her cousin needs to come up to Jamie Maitland from Office 954. But everything on the ceiling here, local it. builders, local landscapers, local companies, that's the eat, drink, and be local philosophy. It's not just about the restaurant business. It's everything to do with local businesses and locals. How you guys doing? I'm good. I'm good. Very good. Thank you for asking. Um, sushi bar, another kitchen, number two. So we almost have three kitchens that operate that menu you guys saw before. We got Irish Cocktails inspired by Bootleg Greg. You all know who he is. He won the EDBL Chef Shakedown. We got the Bimini room in here. It's a bigger dining room that you could use for a private party. Or it's just kind of a different vibe. So this can also be rented out? Uh, uh, rented out, yep. So it holds up to 50 people. We do a lot of beer and wine dinners, uh, pair up with the local breweries. And we do some fun wine dinners in here. I always talk about authenticity, being genuine, and uh, you know, having having a brand. I can't think of a place that epitomizes that more than this place. Family operated. You've got so much pride in this place; it just exudes from you. You've got a story. Your place has a story. Uh, you're about as local as it gets, man. Uh, what we're, are we missing we're, here? We're, no, we're blessed. And I, we did an interview with Sun Sentinel the other day, and they asked me, you know, what what's the biggest thing that you, you've changed. And it wasn't a big change, but we planted these seeds to grow stronger systems and to find gratitude. And it's being grateful that's kept us um, presently right where our feet are. And it's that gratitude which has built this company and helped us survive. And we stay grateful, we seek opportunity, and we constantly work on the systems. And um, you know, this has been a purge for us. You don't see all the same faces here, and I'm sorry for that. You don't see the same menus and the same restaurant styles. And, you know, we, we apologize for that, but we're, we're growing through this the best that we can. And um, for those of you who are still supporting us, uh, our hand goes out. Um, we are so grateful, so grateful for the local love and support and for the patience and understanding. And get out there and support all the local restaurants. Absolutely. Everybody needs the love and support. And to you, Mr. John, I love what you're doing. You're an inspiration. I love that we got hooked up with the Super Club, Supper Club, it's super. And a lot of other clubs out there too have been developed and um, just keep it up. Absolutely, man. We appreciate you guys so much, and uh, I think we got it all in here. Anything else you want to get in, Matt? We miss We're anything? Good, We're good. We're just, you know, it's a pleasure to be on your, uh, on your channel, man. So uh, I saw some specials outside. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, do you do any specials, happy hours, things we, like it's that? It's always happy hour every day, dollar oysters from open till close. We do $2 off the reefers, which are kind of um, entry-level liquors. On Tuesdays, we got $5 margaritas and shots, Corazon Blanco, $7 for Espelon Blanco, $10 for Casamigos. Monday nights, it's Mondays. We do um, $8 um, mules of all different sorts. We got a derby with scotch. We mix that up. You got the Casamigos too, um, El Boro. So we do fun things. Wednesday's lady night. All the ladies come out, get half off all wines by the glass. We did lose a lot of the old school happy hours that we had, but we brought in the dollar oysters every day that's been bringing people in. And uh, Sundays, we got a lot of fun Irie cocktails at $8. We do the live music every day from six to nine. Every day we got some fun food specials. We try and bring back some of the stuff that's not on our menu, um, but we uh, kind of scaled it back. Not really, the menu is huge. All these local inspired sushi rolls. Thank you, got a shout out to the Bombshell. She's been a, a brand ambassador for us, really promoting us, and Pelagic. Pelagic does a lot of fun local stuff in the community and they're all about giving back. They share the same philosophy. Um, so thank you. Absolutely. Come to Papa's Raw Bar to eat, drink, and be local and be a true local, support everybody. Yeah, man. Yeah, man.